You know, you looked to the weapons and you saw the breaches of the city, but you didn't look to him who did it. You didn't see him who planned it long ago. Really good at looking at weapons in time of need, but don't look to God. Saw the issues in the defense of the city, and man, we need to get ready, and we need water, and we need extra walls, but didn't see God's plan or God's purposes in it all. Judah looked to preparation. They looked to the physical, but they ignored what was critical. They ignored the spiritual, and the one who was behind it all should have been the one who was their primary concern. Believers in doctrine, believers in confession, but they were functional atheists when it came down to the time of crisis. I think many of us today can become functional atheists. I mean, you ask me if I believe in God. Oh, yeah, I believe in God. I'll quote you Bible verses. I believe in heaven and hell and all of that. But when crisis comes, where do you turn? What's your initial instinct? First, turning to God, who's in control of heaven like you believe, who's in control of earth like you believe, or turn to what I can do, man's solution. When you notice the bank account is low, is your first instinct to turn to God's word and prayer or think about how am I going to solve this problem? When you're in conflict with others, is your first instinct, I'm going to set them straight or turn to what God says? I've often heard when it comes to evangelism, before we talk to men about God, we should talk to God about men. And yet, amazing as it sounds, even as Christians, we can try to do life without God as our main focal point. This is my great burden and concern for us as American Christians. We've too often become functional atheists. Yeah, we got our man-made solutions our strategies, and we wrongly believe, you know, if I just strategize enough, if I just plan enough, if I just work hard enough, then we'll have success in our church. And I mean, you can go to conference after conference, read book after book. You know, if you just preach a little better, if you have good enough music, a better website, a good worship music inspiring, a nice coffee shop, if you have a palette backdrop to the stage with uplights that are blue, then you'll really further the mission of God. Nothing wrong with those things. I'm for all of them, even the blue uplights. <laughs> but what about God, brothers and sisters? Can you really succeed in God's mission without God? Let's do all these things, but if our first move isn't dependency upon God, what have we gotten? If the church grows in numbers and influence, but people do not find the Savior, what have we really done? We've come blind is what we've become. Because clear vision only comes when we cast our eyes on God. 